we can start using bash specific features and we can see okay so this is interesting this is really interesting if we don't have a shebang and we run it from bash it still executes it with bash but if we were to go into a POSIX compatible shell right here, let's run bin sh, and then we run it, you can see that it gives an error message, but it still prints high. So it's executing it in whatever shell we seem to be running it in. That's interesting. I was unaware of this behavior. I don't know where this behavior is defined. I'll tell you my gut and my gut could be wrong. My gut is that this is undefined and there's nothing that strictly says this has to work. That doesn't mean it won't work. It just means that it doesn't have to work by its standard. I could be wrong. That could not be what's going on here. I'd have to look into the POSIX specification or into the shell and figure out why this is. This behavior is so surprising to me. I wouldn't be... Sur it's very surprising to me where I bet if I pulled up the bash source code, I would probably find some comment around why it's happening like that. That's so interesting to me. Okay, so what if we fire on ZSH? Okay. Yeah, we're still getting invalid option. How do you know if you're in ZSH or not? I actually don't, I don't, I don't know any ZSH specific syntax. I don't know ZSH enough. Uh, that's super interesting. I'll tell you that I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. I'll have to look into this and give you a better answer because I am upset by this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out what's happening here. This is, this is very surprising behavior 